In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the Trulav Galeria Melanella model to assess the acute toxicity of chemicals. To carry out this method, you will need to have already watched the video showing the basic injection technique. Apart from cosmetic testing, acute toxicity tests are typically carried out using mammals and provide an LD50 value. Increasingly, there are initiatives to reduce the use of mammals for these tests. Although cytotoxicity tests can reveal intrinsic cell sensitivity to the toxicity of chemicals, factors associated with metabolism of the compound, such as rates of absorption, biotransformation, distribution and excretion, may not be simulated in cell culture systems. Consequently, the toxicity of some chemicals in mammals is not well predicted from cell culture data. Therefore, there is a requirement for tests that can better predict toxicity in mammals. True larvae, Galeria melanella larvae, are considered to be a non-animal technology, NAT, yet larvae reflect some aspects of the complexity present in mammals and are accepted as an ethical alternative for toxicity testing. For example, true larvae possess an innate immune system that is structurally and functionally similar to that of mammals, comprising cellular and humoral responses. In the UK and other countries, studies using true love are not regulated, reducing the costs associated with studies and enabling the system to be used flexibly. In addition, the ability to use large groups of larvae can increase the statistical power of studies. To assess acute toxicity in true larvae, inject 10 microlitre of dilutions of a chemical into the front proleg using a Hamilton micro syringe. Groups of 10 larvae per chemical can then be incubated at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. As usual, no injection and injection control should be set up. Controls may also include assessment of the effects of solvents used to solubilise chemicals on true larvae. Larvae can be scored for morbidity at 24 hours, 48 hours and 72 hours. An LD50 for the chemical can be calculated.